Right, so today we're going to talk about how to set up the SCUM VM emulator on Richard Pi 2.6 for the Raspberry Pi 2. Um, so this is the front screen, you just if you go into it. Um, this is all you're going to see, it's a launch uh, GUI. So if you press A or um, to open up into it, it'll open into the SCUM VM GUI. So I'm going to use a wireless mouse just to get it set up, but after this you can have it controlled with your, your controller. Um, so uh, I've already added the ROMs to the ROM folder. Um, it has a specific set of data files. Uh, that I'll provide a link below in the description to um, show you which, which files are needed for which games. Um, but So if you're going to add those games once you've got them in your ROMs folder, uh, you just Press Shift on your wireless keyboard and click Mass Add, and then yes, you do. So you want to go into your ROMs folder to where you added the games. So with RetroPy, you choose. Should I get cancel? Sorry, um, Mass Add. Yes, and you'll double click on it. Press Enter. Okay, and then click press enter, scroll down, some scum, scum VM. Sometimes it doesn't like to work very well. So you can use your arrow keys like a normal person. Here we go. And just press choose. It'll show up with all the games you've got set up in there. All you've got to do is press OK. So I'll add it to your GUI right here. So um, instead of starting a game right now, I'm just going to quit out of it, and then it's going to take us back to Emulation Station. So once it loads back up, um, press F4 to go back into the terminal, and then type Emulation Station to get back into it. You'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. Okay, once it's back in, go back into your scum VM folder. And now you see that all your games are set up here. Um, there's a script so that once you add games through the GUI, it will put them on the front of Emulation Station. Um, and then you can just pick any game from here and it will start it right up. So if I'm going to play on the back of baseball or something, just select it. So, um, that's pretty much all there is to it, and then I'll, I'll do another video on how to uh, scrape the game so it gives you the right name for the games instead of the file names that show up in the folders, um, but yeah, so that's it.